Hi guys, welcome back. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and jump on into a story where I'm just going to ask what is going on in their memory bank? So whoever they is, right? So what is somebody thinking about right now? What, what memories are resurfacing about? Well, whatever might be resurfacing, but for them, whoever they may be. We have the world. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so they're remembering uh, kind of a Maybe this is the day they met Taurus, but they're remembering something that changed dramatically in their life. And it was a day where there was a lot of love. This could be somebody who is remembering a really sweet moment, remembering the day they fell in love with Taurus, remembering, you know, why they fell for Taurus. Oh, but we have the Ten of Pentacles. But they're also remembering the day that something stopped working the day that the collaboration came to a screeching halt. Things are really good. We have busy little bees. We had all kinds of, um, it, I feel like it was very momentous when they met Taurus. They remember that. They remember what that was like. They remember how um, meaningful a particular day was. You know, of course, I'm hearing Bobby Darren's uh, What a Difference a Day Makes right now in my head. But this, their heart was like filled with love. I don't know that they had felt love like this before. And we have a blossoming lotus and we have, you know, all these angel feathers and we have the bird messengers and we have the sun reflected on the cup as well as in the sky. I mean, this really couldn't get sweeter or happier or more divine. Even here, we've got the bumblebee flying right across the sun and there's, you know, just lights everywhere. I mean, it's just dazzling. So they have a beautiful memory and then the juxtaposition of like major collapse. And then all of a sudden, everything stopped. All the good stuff ceased. Okay, so they have a very fabulous memory followed by kind of a devastating memory. The magician wheel of fortune in the reverse and then they tried to get it back they tried to manifest fixing it now they could have done it in some kind of a sneaky way though because we do have the little masked bandit here um, and the magician can sometimes be a trickster but they really wanted to manifest something but it's like things went backwards instead of forwards wheel of fortune in the reverse i don't know if this person made a mistake that all of a sudden, it made Taurus not want to work with them anymore. And they, there, this was a moment in time, and they couldn't fix it. Maybe the way they tried to fix it also didn't come out right. Hmm. Tell me a little bit more about what was the situation that they were trying to fix with that magician, trying to manifest something. Six of Cups, they wanted... Taurus to look at them with those same eyes. They wanted Taurus to, to, you know, have those same happy, happy memories. Just remember the happy stuff. Remember that we're, we're soulmates. Remember that, Taurus. Why are they here as the little masked bandit on that magician card? Eight of Cups. Oh. Six of Pentacles. Ah. Uh. So they did the exact opposite of what they wanted. In order to try to fix it, they thought somehow withdrawing would make Taurus then want to work with them again. So something goes wrong. They wind up wanting Taurus to like, no, have those happy, nice memories of me again. Remember, we're soulmates. Show me that you want me back. Make me feel loved again. Tell me that, that you want to be with me. I'll withdraw and then you'll want me back. You'll, you'll miss me. And, and so then we'll be good again. And that was their, in this case, it says like that was their plan. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. In their memory banks, why did a good thing suddenly stop being a cooperative effort? We have the sun. So something came to light. Were they being lazy? Because we got this cougar just chilling up here, doing nothing. Was Taurus doing all the work and they were doing nothing? They were just loving this. Oh my God, this relationship or this, that this could be about a, a, 
um, a, a work relationship. This could be, you know, business partners. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm not working with you anymore. You're not doing anything. You've been lazy. Taurus might have had it all of a sudden. It became clear. I've been working hard. You've been working zero. Because it became clear. And it, I just can't help but see that they were loving this, though. They were so freaking happy. But they were also a big old lazy cat. Five of Cups. Ugh. And the lovers. Okay. They remember very clearly that I think Taurus quit investing with them because, and this is maybe the part that they, they still were like, what do you mean, Taurus? I'm so happy. Well, yes, but Taurus saw them. It became clear that they weren't doing anything. And that really hurt Taurus's energy with the Five of Cups. And Taurus might have said, you know, this stings, this hurts me, that you're being this lazy, getting everything you want out of it, but you're not actually even thinking about, I mean, think of the extra toll it's putting on me, think of how much I'm doing, and you're not even reciprocating, you're doing nothing, you're not contributing, you're just enjoying all the nice stuff I create for us. That really hurts me that you wouldn't care about me. And what I've been doing, it, it's like it devalues it. I'm now your servant instead of your mate, your partner. So there was this huge feeling of loss. But in their mind, they're like, what Taurus and I are, you know, we're, we're romantic partners. And you know what? You hurt me by withdrawing, Taurus. And yeah, I know you were stung, but now you just stung me too. See, so I have a right to be upset, but I still want you and you still want me. So now I'm going to just withdraw and then you're going to miss me and you'll want me back. I, I think that's the way this storyline looks like it's playing out, right? Because their plan was to withdraw and then Taurus, the bull, would want them back. Would want to share and give to them again. They, they did that instead of addressing, oh my gosh, I hurt my Taurus. My Taurus thinks I'm not contributing. That's what this looks like. I don't know if they've had that part. We're looking at like, what are, what are their memories about right now? What are they remembering? And they're remembering that they tried to fix it. They know how they tried to fix it. Their withdrawal to try to get Taurus to basically feel bad and just want them back and just miss them and sweep everything in, under the rug. But they do know that they hurt Taurus. They do. They remember that. But then they double down on, yes, but we love each other. And so, and Taurus has hurt me before too. They kind of keep defending all this. But the thing is, they realize that this whole relationship went completely, like, it, it backtracked. And that's where they're at right now. Something that I loved, something that I wanted so much something I was so happy to have in my life, all of a sudden stopped giving to me. But you know what? Like we both hurt each other sometimes. So let me just withdraw instead of fix things, instead of address things, let me just withdraw. And then Taurus will want me back. I, uh, let me, if they're reflecting on any of this, if these are the memories in their mind, they, they can identify the whole memory of how it began, where it went wrong. Let me ask this. So what is it that they're, what these thoughts are bringing them to, right? If, if this is what's stored in their memory banks, if this is what they're thinking about, then in the present moment, what does that mean for them? Seven of Cups, they don't know what to do. I feel like a time has passed and this whole thing has been unraveled. Not entirely, right? Because their memory is real strong with all of this. And pretty straightforward, too, since they can remember the, the steps that it took to get it here. But I said, in the present moment, what does that mean? If they have these memories of what happened, and now they say, well, in the present, I don't know what to do. Four of coins, do I keep holding back or do I give? Is my tactic of having walked away, will that work? Will Taurus someday return to me? Maybe I should keep holding back or maybe I should reach out just a little. You know what? In the present moment, what they're being faced with is their guides are screaming at them. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You know, don't say you don't know what to do. Don't say maybe it's just best if I hold back or maybe just, you know, kind of say, hey, um, you know, if you ever want to talk, Taurus, 
everything about this attitude that they've got, this pretense of, I don't know what to do, so maybe I'll just, you know, Taurus must just not want to talk to me. They know damn well that that's not right. In this fictional story, for this fictional character, they know damn well that their pretense of being confused about what to do and that maybe Taurus just doesn't want to talk to them is not true. They're dodging. Taking accountability is what I would say for this particular story. Tell me about the, the lie card. <laughs> so we've got the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the Knight of Cups sideways. There's, uh, they're lying about the fact that they want to move forward and offer love again. They want Taurus to come forward and offer love again. That maybe they know both people wish this could be fixed. They're lying about that. They know darn well that that's the case. Both people wish that this, this thing didn't ever unravel and that there was love that they were working on instead of separation. They're also lying because all they want is a new fresh start. The problem that I see is I don't see any point in time where this character has even contemplated what do I need to give to the Taurus? They've tried to sidestep around everything here. How can I not address the fact that maybe I was I was really happy, but Taurus wasn't getting what they needed. And I didn't say, what do you need, Taurus? Or I'm sorry that I haven't been contributing enough. Or Taurus, why do you think I haven't been? Let me point out, because maybe Taurus has it wrong, right? That That's possible. Maybe Taurus's impression of you're doing nothing, I'm doing everything. You don't care about my feelings and what my needs are, and that hurts me. You know, sometimes that can be a perspective that is not correct. I just, I want to play devil's advocate here and say, maybe Taurus doesn't have it 100% right either, right? Sometimes people show their, their affection and their caring in a billion little ways that Taurus wouldn't have even known about. But the bottom line is Taurus hasn't been feeling supported. They've been feeling like they were doing it all. So that still has to be addressed, even if it's so this person can point out, what are you talking about? I do this, I do this, I do this, I do this. I care about you like this. I show you in this way. I do this. I do, This is the way I communicate that I love you. This is the, you know, the things that I think about you all the time and consider all these things about you. You know, they're going to need to maybe convey that because right now what we have is a lot of hurt feelings and they seem to be in this place where they, they, why is it that they resist addressing that? Because that's the core of the issue from what I can see here. So why do they resist that? Hierophant, there's a Taurus, page of cups, four of cups. Oh, that's not good. They resist because uh, I guess they don't like to address their mistakes. They have a lot of regret. They do owe an apology. And they know it. And they have a big old regret, a big, huge regret. And it's something where I don't know if this is um, some kind of a power play on their part. They don't want Taurus to have all the power and they're going to have to say sorry. And then that would put them, even if they are sorry, but then that would put Taurus in a higher position than them. Then, uh, gosh, I don't know. Let me get one more on that, that Hierophant card. I, I feel like this person is really resistant to yeah, Seven of Wands. Talk about resistant. They have a big hang up about saying sorry. They have a big hang up about guilt. When they're guilty, they can't even hardly bear it. I don't know if this sense of guilt and shame, you know, like if they do something wrong, they they can't hardly handle it. Um, so they just try to run from it. Maybe there was like way too stern of like conditioning placed upon them at some point in their life where it was like everything was always about guilt. Everything that they did, it was, you know, you're going to be in trouble for that. You're going to be shamed for that. And so now to accept, you know, may, maybe that was like a deflection method. They're just like, everything in my life was about shame and guilt and fear and punishment. And so as an adult, I'm not dealing with that anymore. I will not accept, you know, um, things that I feel guilty about. I won't, I'm afraid to accept the things that I feel guilty about because I actually feel so much shame, but I also try to run from it and hide from it. 
it, I don't know how else to describe this. It's a very interesting twist. I haven't seen this before. Um, but there's definitely something surrounding guilt for this person. They feel guilt and that's what they cannot bring themselves to gag out of their mouths and, and acknowledge because they already were like steeped in an environment where if you did anything wrong, it was like the end of the world. So they want to run away from that feeling. But the problem is they feel it anyway and possibly amplified. And it manifests in the real world because what they're going to lose is their Taurus. All because they can't say, I'm sorry. I should have been kinder. Like this is a big stumbling block for them in life. Big, huge stumbling block for them in life. This avoidance of, um, you know, we mess up. It's not the end of the world. This could be fixed. All they have to do is, is show some more caring, but their stumbling block is acknowledging the guilt that they actually already do feel because they've got some tangled up emotions surrounding the topic of guilt and it becomes something that they just want to run from. And that, that probably has some deeper roots someplace else, you know, in their upbringing or in a belief system or a, an overzealous, um, you know, authority figure, punishment um, person in their life. And now as an adult, they just run, even though they still feel guilty. But again, they just want to run away from it. Okay, that's a tough, that's a tough one. So what might happen here? Uh, let's change decks, actually. Nothing has popped out of that deck anyway. What may happen? Is there a, an opportunity for them to stop running or for them to do the thing that they know they need to? Ace of Wands right now, they do not have the energy or the desire at this point to deal with things differently. We have the death card in the reverse. We don't see them able to address this. We don't see them able to change. We don't see them able, even if they know darn well what they should do. Justice, Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles. You know, I think that because this character has a lot of self-work to do still, and they don't want to address what they need to. Yes, we can see it's a deeper rooted issue, perhaps. Um, their avoidance of just accepting, I made a mistake and I'm sorry. The fact that they, they just don't want to do that says the karmic justice is going to come into play, which is Taurus really is gone is, and is going to stay gone. And Taurus will be giving to someone, but it'll be somebody new. It won't be them. Taurus could meet another earth energy. Doesn't have to be. Taurus could meet a Libra, could meet a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But Scorpio, or excuse me, Taurus is going to end up with someone else. And that is ultimately, <coughs> look at this, the Wheel of Fortune goes upright again for the our Taurus. Taurus's life is going to move forward with somebody new they are going to have an equal give and take relationship with someone it's just not going to be with this person from the past that things it's just crazy because this person really loved Taurus but because of this big thing that they just haven't been able to fix within themselves they have the inability to ever say I'm sorry or to collaborate and work on things they just run when there's a problem they run that's going to cost them this relationship with Taurus. But Taurus is not going to be left, you know, like hurting over this and, oh my gosh, that was the only love of my life. No, no, no. Taurus is moving on with somebody completely different. And that is the the karmic balance of, of the world, you know? It's like, okay, well, you, you can get yourself in balance and work things out, or you can choose to stay just how you are, but it means you can't move forward. You know, do not collect 200, do not pass go. They don't get to be with Taurus if they can't do some growing. So remember the death card was in the reverse. If they won't change, then how could they possibly move forward with Taurus? They can't. And it's not mean. It, they have the power to change if they want to. It's just in this story, in this particular snapshot, it says that they're not. It, it actually is almost like they kept saying again and again, you know what? We love each other. We're going to hurt each other sometimes. That's just how it is. It's how love is instead of like working and addressing what needs to be addressed. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. Thanks for giving this a thumbs up and subscribing. Bye guys.